Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan, and uh, today we're uh, going to show you the temperature controller that has been chosen for the standard model of the Hotshot 360. What I've got on there now is my uh, temporary artwork that's just a piece of paper that's been printed, uh, but I have nameplates coming that, in full color that look just like that. Um, so those are going to be included. This, this nameplate is just duct taped on right now, just to give you an idea what your faceplate's going to look like. Today's video is about the temperature controller, and we're going to go through that. And uh, you can probably remember in a few videos back, we talked about value engineering. Now, I was able to get a controller that I'm happy with, uh, that's got some features that I hadn't planned on, uh, and still stay on the budget. So, this controller's got a timer. So, I didn't promise timers on the first uh, go around, but everyone's going to get a timer, and I'm going to show you how they work. You've basically got two different modes. Right now, we're uh, a th uh, the red readout is 1,017 on a 1,011 set point. So it just reached its set point, and it's, uh, you can see the output is just tickling here. You've got the run command, which means the controller is running, and then output means it's uh, outputting and, and putting out heat. Now, and A1 shows that the timer is running. I'm going to take you to the second screen. I'm just going to press uh, P. And you can see there's a timer running, and you can tell because the decimal place is sitting there blinking. That tells you that the timer is actually running. Third place is where you set your timer. Right now, that I've got it set for hours, so that's five hours. Press again. Uh, th this is where you select your run command. Uh, if you want it to be on a timer or you just want it to be manual. Uh, right now, we're on the F, which indicates this F button, uh, which means you need to take a run command from F. But I'm not going to mess with that just yet. Let's go back to the main screen. Uh, as you can see, we're just now coming up on our temp. What I'm doing right now, we're coming up on you know 1,011 on our uh, um, on our set point. I'm going to open the door. And that's going to screw everything up. But I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm curing that floor. There's a brick floor in there, a refractory brick, brick floor. So I'm curing the floor. And the final step of this whole thing is uh, uh, I have to take it to 1200 degrees. So I'm going to do that. I need to do it 1200 degrees for one hour. So first of all, before we go into timer mode, let's just take away the run command. So I'm going to press P once for the timer, twice for the time input, third time for run. Right now I'm on F. We're going to take away that F command to no. And it already took it. You see, we don't have a run light here. We don't have any output. So the controller is basically doing nothing. And you're going to see the, the temperature just barely start falling off. Now, at this point, we're going to go ahead and take it up to uh, 1,200. And you can do this with a run command applied. It doesn't matter. Alarm clock syndrome. All right, I've got a 1200 degree set point in there. You can see our oven's dropping off on temperature. Now, if I wanted to just give it just a run command and make it just run and hold, no timer, nothing like that. All we do is come in here and we go to, uh, there's your time elapsed, there's the timer set. Right here is run. We're going to go to run yes. Enter, and now we've got a. Now you see we've got a run light, and we've got output. So it's going to run and hold at 1,200 degrees, no timer. All right, let's take away that run command. Go back to P. Go to our run screen. We're set on yes. We're going to go down to F. All right. So we're going to hit our F key. Or hit our P key to enter it. Okay, we've got no run command. We've got uh, 1,200 set in there as a target temperature. Let's set our timer. Uh, T1 is our timer. So let's set our timer for an hour. And you can hear my cooling fan is automatically kicked on there in the background. It's on a thermostatic control. Okay, there's one hour for the timer. I'm going to go back and check, make sure we're on run F. I'm going to go back to the main screen. 
See, now we have no run command, nothing started. Uh, all we're gonna do is press F for a, for a three count. One, two, three. Now we've got run and output. All right. Um, let's go to the timer screen, which is the next one. This just displays the timer. Now the timer is set for one hour, but I want you to watch. It's not gonna start until we reach our target temperature. When we get to 1200, as soon as that red display hits 1200, then we start the clock. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for that to ramp up and let you guys uh, look it over and see uh, and watch it happen. Watch when that timer actually starts. You're going to be able to tell by uh, the decimal place in the clock when it starts blinking, when the timer is actually running. Right now it's just sitting idle, uh, waiting to hit our target temperature. Uh, but our target temperature is 1200 when the uh, value of the inside of the oven reaches the target temperature clock starts um, some other things i i do want to mention while we're waiting for this i've got a heat enable switch which you can quickly kill the element you can hit this so you can get in and out of the oven, open the door, and you don't have to worry about a hot element. So just, I mean, when you get in the habit of changing parts on the fly, hit that heat enable, drop it out, open your door, get your parts in or out, close the door, hit the heat enable back on. Just get used to doing that. I put it all the way on the right-hand side so it's easy to get to. Uh, they've got rubber boots on the, on the switches. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we, missed, <laughs> we missed seeing what was going on. We hit our 1200, and now you can see we're, we're counting now for one hour. And what's going to happen now is we're going to run at 1200 for one hour. Uh, th at that point, it's going to remove the run command. After the timer is timed out, it's going to remove the run command and um, turn off the element. The cooling fan is going to run as necessary. Uh, you know, to keep the oven cool, whether it's idle or not, it doesn't matter whether the element's firing or not, the, the cooling fan is always an automatic, and uh, the oven basically will shut itself down, and the only thing you're going to see when you come back, maybe the next morning, is you'll see the, this little controller will still be on, you know, it'll be up and running, but you're not burning an element, and you're not, uh, you know, firing the oven, uh, very little, uh, it's just like six volt amps <laughs> on this on this thing it's very low uh, power consumption so energy savings is there uh timer is nice and uh okay so you so now we've started timing we're down to 59 minutes uh we've got an overload for the uh, element if you do happen to stick a metal pair of tongs or something in there and cross up that element and you know just give give that element a dead short or a piece of metal falls over on the element you're going to pop this breaker clear your fault, make sure your element's not damaged, reset, and go. Control power, that's going to pull away all the power to uh, the controller, the S SSR, and the element. That just kills everything. Uh, the only thing the control power does not remove power from is the cooling fan. The cooling fan is powered constantly, unless you unplug it from the wall. Uh, always leave it plugged into the wall when it's in cool down mode to make sure your controller stays nice and cool. All right, but uh, I thought I'd show you around uh, the controls that I've set up and the way I way we're working this, and the way you're going to be able to work your oven with either timers or manual. Uh, but I thought I'd uh, show you the, the standard version of my temperature controller. I uh, appreciate you guys watching, and I appreciate everyone that supported the Hotshot 360. Thanks for watching.